Hey everyone, as promised I'm back with another review. I said that I would review the Pampers diapers as soon as I got around to using some. So I'm going to review the Pampers Swaddlers. It's for newborns, uh, 10 pounds or less. And this is kind of the, uh, the Pampers equivalent of the Huggies diaper that I reviewed last time. They are really pretty similar. Um, they've got super adorable designs on them. Um, I really, really like these. Uh, some of them have, like, Sesame Street characters on them, like Elmo and, uh, like, Big Bird and such, which are freaking cute. For some reason, I only picked one that has these on here, but that's okay. Um, it has the umbilical cord notch, kind of like the other one, but there's not much of one. Like, it's almost straight across. Whereas the other one it had a pretty deep gash in it right here. That way, if your uh, baby's umbilical cord stump is a little bit bigger, um, I think that that would be a little bit more accommodating with the Huggies brand. Um, it has little similar latch system, little velcro pieces on either side here. Very easy to use, kind of like the Huggies. Um, they both have this exact same identical stripe down them, the yellow stripe that turns blue when it's wet. Um, I don't feel like the stripe on this brand is quite as responsive. It seems like it doesn't indicate quite as early as the Huggies brand. The inside is pretty plush. Um, the box claims to be blanky soft, but honestly I don't think these are as soft as the Huggies. Maybe I'm just a little biased because that was the first brand that I used, but honestly I think I like the Huggies better. I feel like uh, they protected better and they were softer um, and they had the bigger notch in the front. Uh, but these work pretty well. I did have one instance when um, I got Kennedy up in the morning and uh, she had a wet diaper and it had kind of soaked through her clothes. I had to change her outfit. It wasn't like sopping wet, like you couldn't see the moisture, but like when you picked her up, you could feel it. You, like it was like almost kind of how when you're out in humidity a lot and your skin feels kind of wet, that's what it felt like. So I feel like these maybe didn't protect as good as the Huggies either because I never had any leaks at all with the Huggies whatsoever, none. Um, oh, I will say that these really seem much smaller, which is perfect for newborns, but if you have a baby that's a little bit bigger, like Kennedy, she's about eight pounds now. She was born at six and some change. Um, and the Huggies ones, they were super adjustable to where I feel like babies of just about any size could wear them, but this seems pretty strict. Like, you can't really, you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room here, unless your baby is super, super, super tiny, um, whereas I don't, I don't think any baby is going to be that tiny, but, so this is great for like super newborns or maybe preemies. These almost feel like preemie diapers where you're not going to have a whole lot of wetness and um, you don't need like the bigger size. Whereas Huggies, it seems like they're more likely to grow with your baby. So you could probably use the newborn Huggies um, past newborn, like maybe level one even. Instead of just bu buying a, a size up, you could probably just keep using those Huggies. But they have a cool rewards program, they both do, but I feel like the Pampers brand has a little bit more comprehensive reward system, so they do have a leg up on Huggies as far as that goes, but I think my go-to brand will be Huggies from now on, so that's it, but Kennedy's doing really good. Um, she still has her night and days kind of mixed up. Um, sometimes it's a little bit half and half, like she'll be up in the morning and then sleep through the afternoon and evening and then be up all night. That's usually when I've got baby duty. So <laughs> like last night, 
Uh, she got me up around 3 a.m. and I stayed in the living room watching TV, feeding her, cuddling her, burping her, changing her, doing whatever I could to make her happy and she was just almost completely inconsolable uh, until about 6 a.m. And then I slept for about another hour, then we were back up at 7 a.m. for about another three hours. So I know that someday I'll look back on this and miss it, but I'll be happy when I can get a regular sleep schedule. <laughs> um, she'll be one month on Monday. Today's Thursday night, just for reverence. So, But she's doing good. She's gaining weight and she seems happy. I mean, she gets fussy to where I don't know how to fix what's wrong with her. I don't, I don't know why she's crying. I think she's just trying to get her bearings on life and figure things out and that can be kind of upsetting, I guess, but uh, aside from that, she's doing really good and her health is the number one thing that I care about, so. <laughs> um, I'll be back to do another video one of these days and uh, hopefully do some more reviews. Today was my first day back at work, so hopefully I'll have a little bit of money sitting around extra that I can start buying some products specifically to review, so. Good stuff coming. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.